Hi everyone, Julia here, recording this, October 26, 2022, and I'm just going to read uh, some notes from the David Nino Rodriguez interview with Jason Brasiers from Archaics. So Jason says that <clears throat> the elites have always known about the recurring phoenix phenomenon. Jason says that he's still amazed by his own discoveries. He says that the Masons are a branch of ancient deep state. The importance of deprogramming ourselves was brought up by David. Jason says to avoid reading anything published after the Nuremberg trials. He says that the arithmetic of reset confirms that we're in a mathematical construct. David concludes concluded that the elites have been in control thousands of years, not just hundreds of years. Jason says that in 1902, the elite unleashed preserved technology after an, after an anticipated cataclysm didn't happen. He again mentions how it only takes 200 years to go from horse and buggy to hadron collider and that it's happened over and over. Jason says that the Vatican Library is very monitored and that the true history is preserved and is resurfaced at certain points in history. He says that the Phoenix phenomena is not based on Newtonian physics, that it's a mechanism hidden in the sky and it acts with discretion. David suggests that it's a superstructure in the sky. Jason corrects sky to dome. Jason points out how evidence for belief given by the simulacrum allows for proof of each paradigm, such as flat earth versus spinning globe. David brings up how when under the influence of ayahuasca, he witnessed a very mechanical, mathematical reality. Jason says that in theogens like ayahuasca, weaken the veil so that we see beyond the filters provided by our central nervous system that the central nervous system normally blocks out most data, making it possible to interact in this physical realm. He says that entheogens hinder our ability to maintain the construct. Jason says that after his motorcycle accident, that he realized that none of this is real. He described the sensation of moving through the world without being jacked into a body. He says it enabled all of his research to now fit together and that the accident was meant to happen. Jason says, origin of humans via evolution is BS. Jason refers to times when people saw mechanisms in the sky and reported it. He says that the dome gives a show, making it look like we're on a moving planet. He says the elite will go underground to luxurious accommodations before the next reset in 2040. Jason explains how totem poles provide history and that older civilizations did the same with stone monuments and that the Olmeca had 2,070 years of chronology discovered by the conquistadors. The Vatican hid this data and kept the gold and silver. America was more sophisticated than Europe prior to the conquistadors' invasion. Jason says that the elite no longer need to censor info, info because they're in position already. He explains that arcs of today are subterranean underground cities, which can be luxurious, having sophisticated technology. Jason says that the underground detonations reported by truthers were actually further construction of the underground facilities, which are almost ready, and the elite will retake control after 2052 on the surface. In 2040, we're expecting the Phoenix event, 2046, the Nemesis event, and 2052, the Dark Satellite returns. And uh, you'll have to dig deeper on those. That wasn't in this interview. I'm just explaining why it says after 2052. Jason says that people who have disappeared are now working underground. He says that's where many of the recent U.S migrants have gone. He says uh, <clears throat> many patriot truthers have been deceived by the intelligence agencies. Jason talks about how we exist in two realities at once, the collective and the singular, and how we, how we determine everything via our frequency, 
how we immortal beings will keep all this info from this experience. Jason says that there's a lot of hope and that higher frequencies equal more intelligence and that we are the elect that and that we the elect need not fear jason says that when darkness rises those with light grow more powerful he mentions that intelligent agencies were given data on ancient history and it was determined that cyclical catechisms occurred jason says plato's atlantis is about reset theory that reset theory is woven through history the creation story of the Bible is also about a reset. Jason says that there have been four worldwide cataclysms in the 5,900 years and that the phoenix is always involved. Jason theorizes that variable stars, which are red and go from dim to bright, brighten and act erratically around the times of phoenix events. Jason says that a variety of false narratives are abundant due to lots of funding and that they're purposely causing confusing confusion giving the elites multiple cards to play this is a war by deception jason points out impossible fossils and says that they were flash frozen during flash frozen during phoenix events darwin even wrote that our world has been repeatedly destroyed jason says human evolution theory is bs he says that there are codes alluding to the Phoenix phenomena everywhere in buildings and statues, etc. Jason says that the changes of calendars align with Phoenix events. He talks about the vapor canopy, how the vapor canopy collapsing led to the Great Flood and that there, was, that there were survival colonies which became the Heliolithic Empire. He says that the Great Pyramid and other monuments and buildings incorporated using machines and building them that we no longer have access to. They were built during the Technolithic period under a vapor canopy atmosphere. Technolithic technology is superior to what we have now, and the elite have a longing for this tech and will have the opportunity to indulge after 2052. Jason says that in 2039, because due to the flood, I mean, Jason says that in 2039 BC, due to the flood caused by the collapse of the vapor canopy, that the elite lost everything. Then the Amuru appeared. They had beards, and people of that time didn't, and wore wooden beards to imitate the adored Amuru. Jason says divide and conquer tactics have always been used. He says that currently there are ten years that there have been ten years of angering the public, and now it's time for relief. He says that there will be a full takedown, and that the quantum financial system is just a one-world reset with a different name. He says that the takedown has started, and that after three to five years, the ultra-conservative government will take over, with Noahide laws being strictly enforced. But we have three to five years. Three to five good years on the horizon. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. And I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And um, if you want to know more about archaics, I have archaic summary playlist on here. If this uh, interview just confused you more. And uh, remember to always focus on what you want. And help others if you can. Ciao, ciao.